I don't know if you saw, but there's a dedicated Bixby button right here. So there's a volume up and down, and there's a button right here. So uh, it's a little dim, because uh, so I'm going to increase the, uh, the brightness. Set display brightness to maximum. Okay, your brightness is at the max. And I also have blue light filter on, so I'm going to turn off blue light filter. So I'm going to say, uh, show me pictures from Melbourne. So, uh, I want to make sure it's specifically gallery. So show me gallery photos from Melbourne. So it's thinking, looking for gallery photos from Melbourne. Okay, I found 26 pictures. Great. So I'm going to take a look at some of these. Swipe so through. Maybe go back and look for a video, maybe. Play. Right, great. Show this on TV. Now it's connecting. Okay, I'm connecting with Smart View now. So that's Bixby Talks. Let's move over here to see. Uh, Bixby C's connection. Let's connect that now. So, um, as I've shown you before, if you hold it down, then you can talk to it. But if you just tap it once, it'll go to Bixby homepage. So you'll get all the content that's really sort of for you uh, over here. So news to email to my Samsung Health to weather, it suggests different websites, uh, suggests different themes like my favorite cats, uh, and even my heart rate here. So from here, um, I can go to my camera, and there's a little Bixby Vision button right there. So I can tap that, and then maybe go to this wine, and I'll say wine. Of that. And it gives me the wine uh, with vintage uh, comparisons, some star ratings, and food pairings as well. So let's continue on and maybe I'll scan this book. Right here. I'm going to do shopping. Prices from Amazon as well. 